back with a flash. If you've purchased a Callaway Epic Flash driver or fairway wood and wondered why there isn't an Epic Flash hybrid, today could be your lucky day. I know what you're thinking. I know. You're thinking, why have Callaway released the Epic Flash Hybrid so much later than the driver and fairway wood? Do you want to know something? I don't honestly know. Not a clue. I don't know their answer. There must be a reason for it, but right now, I don't know. Is it worth the wait? Well, we need to find out. After what was quite frankly an awesome display from the Epic Flash driver and fairway wood, if you haven't seen those reviews, the links are below. The hybrid's got its work cut out in order to stay within the Epic Flash family. Before we get flashing, hit subscribe and the bell notification. But more importantly, I don't usually get a chance to talk to you guys after the release, really. So after the Epic Flash driver and fairway wood, have you tried it? Comment below. Did you like it? Did you end up buying it? What were your thoughts? Wow, uh, she's a wide one. So we're 250 meters out. I've got no idea how far this is gonna go, if I'm quite honest, but let's give it a whack. That's cutting in back into the hole. Oh my goodness. Somebody's closer. That's a cut. I'm sorry. Anyway, guys, let's have a look at the tech of this new Callaway Epic Flash hybrid. So as we know, it's the Epic Flash family. You can't be in the family unless you've got a flash face, and that's exactly what we've got. That works in conjunction with the jailbreak technology, which, as we know, stiffens the construction of the head. Then we've got a Carpenter 455 steel club face, face cup technology, and MIMMED tungsten weighting, which allows Callaway to put a precise CG location by molding tungsten weighting within the head. And then to the bit of technology that I always struggle to say, the triaxial carbon crown. But I said it, so I'm a very happy boy. <laughs> so we've got Epic Flash Hybrid, obviously. Number three, 18 degrees with an adjustable hosel. The shaft is a Tenzai AV70S Flex. It looks the dog's tennis balls down at the ball, I'll be honest. It's absolutely beautiful screams out that it's a callaway wood the top line is extremely sharp and i love that it's a bit wider as i mentioned earlier and callaway is saying it's more it's got the characteristics of a fairway wood kind of thing it's definitely bigger than a normal like an apex hybrid for example and it seems to go narrow at the heel and expand out towards the toe very very pretty nice little pattern at the back as well oh on a piece of string it looks, it sounds, and feels fantastic. Oh, lovely. I'll be honest, I didn't want to like this. I thought, you know what? You didn't want to pop your face out with the rest of the family, you can get stuffed. But it's actually really nice. Damn you. That was bottomy, but it's still flying lovely. And that's also in the hole, three in a row. Yeah. Oh, spinach. Check you out. So what tends to happen is we hit a few shots, get an average, see you later. But what's gonna happen this time is we're gonna get an average carry distance and we're gonna venture out on the golf course in another video. When it's ready, the link will show. But we're gonna have a bit of fun. We've not let our hair down on the golf course in a while. So it'll be good to do. And we're gonna take ourselves that far out from the pin and hit some shots into the green to see how it reacts, basically. Lovely, I can't wait. See you there. Hmm. Oh, hello. I like it over there, it's lovely. Well, there's a bit of a mixed bag, as per usual. The Al way. Yes, okay. So let's have a look at what average carry we're getting. Obviously, it's all about getting you out of the crap, basically. But numbers-wise, 
I'm hoping this is going to be pretty good, even though that was a bit of a spray. So I'm pretty stoked with those numbers. Like I say, 248 carry meters, 255 total, clubhead speed 112, not the quickest we've had, but the ball speed is very much still there. 3756 on the backspin. With that launch, it's penetrated, penetrating enough to get it out there, but enough backspin to hopefully hold the greens. But we'll see more when we take it to the golf course. So as always guys, thank you so much for watching. If you need any more help on this, comment below. I will do my best to respond. Follow me on social media, the links are below. And of course, subscribe to keep an eye out for us taking this out on the golf course. Thank you.